Hi guys, my name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 74. Let's go ahead and get started. Huh? Please make haste. It's already begun. You should be silent as you go through the black back door so as not to disturb them. Uh -uh. Her Highness was kind enough to help you meet your mother, so why the long face? Uh, uh, why must we go through something like this? How did it come to this? Uh, what are you talking about, Mom? You, you killed Father? But he wasn't part of our plans. We didn't... Reyna, what are you saying? Uh, so, you used the poison before? Why didn't you tell me? You should have told me you were you would have killed her, had she not married the Grand Duke. Uh, it, it was just something we had planned. We didn't actually act on it. Uh, just as you said, Perishani ended up going to the Grand Dukes. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I don't know. I swear. The plan, the poison. Mom and Shiv prepared it all. I knew it. I was wondering why things changed. The seventh princess was to marry him, but this time it was supposed to be me. So why'd he end up, why did he end up marrying her of all people? I figured she somehow learned of the curse and took the matter to court. But they presented such feeble evidence for a reason. She knew far more than I thought. That wicked wench. Why do you think your sister got married all of a sudden? Uh, how would I know? Maybe she fell out of love with Shep. Wrong. She knows everything. She knows. What are you talking about? Perjati knows? What does she mean by that? Does Perjati also know that Shiv fell for me? If she knew everything, she could have talked to us. Especially regarding father. Don't tell me. What if this was all her plan? In an effort to kick us out. Yes, if she knew everything about our plan, this all makes sense. I mean, she's the only one who came out on top. Even the even maids gossip about how Pinchati is so lucky in front of me whenever the princess isn't around. It's always been this way. Compared to her, I'm... Princess Dodolia was the only one who was kind to me, but she changed after the trial. She sometimes acts like a completely different person. And this gathering is very strange. I thought it was about giving consultations to ease one's worries. Mom? I'm sure that'll make her do all sort of mi minio chores. So why make her come and stand the whole time whenever there's a gathering? <laughs> this girl is weird. This is happening. All because of Parashati. You seem rather unsettled. Did something happen in the countdown? Oh. I asked how Reyna was doing. The convent that, prin that Princess Dodolia runs, the place you mentioned, it's no big secret that she regularly, regularly holds a gathering there. Why hide it? Charity work is a perfect excuse for a gathering. 
Rumor even has it that the diseases can be cured there. I'm sure people go there for the good energy, seeing how Princess Dodolia suddenly got better. We're keeping a close watch on it, so there's no need to worry. All right. I hear you're going to start a new business. May I ask of what nature? Oh, well, there's a business that my parents have been running for some time. I want to improve it and keep it going. The war is over, yes, but still, our areas around the protected lands are impoverished. I'm looking for ways to help people there. But profit isn't my priority, so I'm rather embarrassed to even call it a business. Perhaps I shouldn't have said this to someone who's been to war for so long. What if he thinks I'm not taking this seriously? That's a splendid idea. Huh? Uh, do tell me when you have a refined plan for the business. I wish to help. Clink, clink. I think we're almost there. Hmm? <laughs> I just told you the other day that my love had failed. <laughs> Recently, seeing his face has made me think about the promise I made to myself when I came back to life. So, I asked myself, Is there anything I can't do now that I've come back from the dead? <laughs> I'll do my best, because above all, you are all behind me. <laughs> I will never give up. Oh, this girl is obsessed. Oh, gosh. Okay, so she's like a psycho. She's not weird. She's a psycho. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!